Okay, this is without a warning. This is a spotted Tennessee walking horse. This is a three-year-old, and he's also registered in the Spotted Horse Association and belongs to the Keith Hayes family of Wartrace, Tennessee. He remains in training with Leanne Tibbs out at Tibbs Highway Horse Farm in Petersburg. He started his show career as a yearling under halter with a win at the Belfast Walking Horse Show and then a reserve title, title at the Tweeba Futurity. He has a world and world green champion yearling in the Spotted Horse Show Championship in Murfreesboro and Shebaville. Then last year, and you're going to see this horse a little bit later on under saddle and see how he performs when he's ridden. Last year was his first year under saddle as a two-year-old and competed in the trail pleasure division as well as what you're looking at right here in the model division and see him part and stretch his legs and extend his forelegs forward and just present himself as a beautiful model. At the Spotted Saddle Horse Championship show, he went on to win five different World Grand Championship titles in open classes, in amateur classes, and even in juvenile classes. Tibbs Highway Horse Farm offers quality walking horses and spotted horses for the whole family to ride from the rail to the trail. They're located right off of Route 431 in Petersburg and is owned and operated by Mike and Leanne Tibbs and we have Miss Leanne Tibbs pivoting for us today. All right, Leanne, thank you very much for your beautiful horse. We look forward to seeing you a little bit later under saddle. Now when I use that phrase under saddle, what I mean is that she's going to be riding this horse a little bit later on today. Thank you, Leanne. Okay, now let me find my paperwork here, I think. If I can find my paperwork, we have a lead line pony that's standing on red. Okay, this is Rascal Flats. This is D. Yoder, is the handler, and Lexi Hofer is the rider. This horse is presented, or gotten ready, if you will, by Kim and Beetle Baby. These are the folks right here standing next to one another. Folks, let me tell you, this class, to show in this class, I don't care what anybody says, this is the hardest class to show in and to prepare for. Riders are six years of age or under, and you have to have two matching riding suits, whether you show in Western or whether you show in English, you have to match. So not only do you have the expense of one riding suit, you have to have two matching suits. Doesn't matter if it's English or There's also, a, uh, we put what's called a humane tail on this horse. It's taped on and tied on with the use of shoestrings on this brace that holds that tail to kind of make that tail look like a fountain shape. Then there's a small shoe that's placed on the front of the pony that kind of lifts his front end and gives him a little more knee action, a little more style, a little more pizzazz. This pony is the ring as Miss Yoder is performing, led both ways of the ring and then lined up. Miss Yoder, if you would please come in here and line up and show us how you present your horse in a show ring environment. We want, again, we want the riding suits to match. And then match with the brow band and the English head stop. Oh, look at these. There we go. See, so move those four legs out there and line up and present himself, put his ears up, the rider setting up their rider, the handler showing that horse. They are matched perfectly. A beautiful pony, a great job, and the rider, fantastic. 
Thank you, Miss Young, very much for bringing your entry out today for all the hard work. Kim and Beetle Bailey, thank y'all very much. Appreciate that very much. Crystal Deputy is on World Champion Jose's Valentine, a trail pleasure entry. And Dickie Gardner is on Cowboy on Parole, who is also a world champion. Cowboy on Parole shows in some trail play to what we call country pleasure. And Valentine here shows in trail pleasure. This mare is named Valentine because I actually bought this mare and gave her to my wife on Valentine's Day. And as a trainer, it's not good to own too many horses. And I already owned several horses at the time, and my, I thought my wife would be so happy that I gave her this horse and called her Valentine on Valentine's Day. She was so mad at me, she left the barn and didn't talk to me for like two days. I kept this mare for a year. My wife never rode her, so I finally sold her to Mr. Dickie Gardner and his customers, and now they've gone, gone on to have great success in showing this mare. Just a little brief um, behind the scene information there. Dickie and Crystal show all year long. They show at all the spotted shows, the national shows, National Spotted Horse Association, and Sheba, the Spotted Association and then show it all the walking horse shows. They'll probably put more horses in the ring than any one facility. They show a lot. They are very busy folks and sometimes if there are two shows on the same night, they will split up. Vicky will go to one show with a load of horses and Crystal will go to the other. Okay, Crystal and Deputy, thank you. Crystal and Deputy and Vicky Gardner, thank y'all very much. Ranger T. Walker, which is our gray horse coming in, is a mounted patrol horse and service horse with the Tweeba Service Horse Program. Ranger, the gray horse, is a registered uh, Tennessee walking horse and is the official spokes horse for the Just Say Woe to Drinking, Drugs, and Bad Decision Program. The members with Ranger T. Walker today are Olivia Hayes and Mackenzie Vincent. Mackenzie is a board member with the Tennessee Walton Horse Youth Association and a longtime member of Tweeba. She loves to ride walking horses and has been very successful in the Tweeba Creative Contest. Olivia also loves to ride walking horses and has received the maximum amount of scholarships from judging in the All Youth Day here that's held every year here on the celebration grounds. During the celebration, there is an all day youth horse judging contest. Ranger T. Walker, the gray horse, appreciates their dedication and is proud to have them on his team helping the youth to learn how to just say whoa to drinking, drugs, and bad decisions. Victory Trip is ridden today by Shelby Finch and Rachel Cowles are teaming up for the versatility with the Tennessee Walking Horse along with Victory Trip, their horse. Victory Trip is brought to, to us today by the Starnes family where Larry and Linda Starnes horses with adults and youth to show that the key to versatility is with walking horses. This mare is superior and adult supreme champion. Her nickname is Trip. Trip like a journey and not like a fall. Both Trip and Dan, who is the son of Linda and Larry, grew up having fun and success with Tweeba Opportunity. Now Dan is married to Catherine Storms and they have a daughter. 
Hannah and son John, who also enjoy riding Tennessee walking horses. Shelby and Rachel have been very active with the Tennessee walking horse and versatility all of their lives. Shelby and Rachel both achieved the highest versatility award through Tweeba. And there's a list of those awards that goes on and on. But one of the most fun shared highlights for Shelby and Rachel was riding at Briarfest at the Tennessee Walking Horse Demonstration, dressed up as Beauty and the Beast. Versatility for sure means fun and making friends and friends that become family. If you want to know more about Tweeba versatility programs or youth programs, Shelby Finch and Rachel Cowles are willing to help. Thank you ladies for all of your hard work. To Dan and Linda Starnes and Ernie Brewbreaker, appreciate y'all bringing y'all horses today. They will be one of the groups that you will visit uh, later on today. Lori Toon is one of the great trainers that we have in our industry and has been for many years. She's really old. She's been around forever. When I was a little kid, I used to watch her ride and train her horses. She's riding world champion Dos Equis. He's, the Western, he's in Western Tech today and competes with his owner, Liz Gassaway, in the Country Pleasure Division. Okay? What we're looking for on these horses under saddle, we want these horses to shake their head at all times. We want the horse to have freedom of movement through the forehand, through his shoulders. We want the horse to bend his knee and extend his leg forward. That's on the front legs. We want the horse to slightly shift his weight to his hindquarters, or to his rump, or to his back end. And we want the horse to stride up under itself with those hind legs. We use the term overstride. Overstride, how far the right rear leg will pass over the imprint of the right foreleg and the same on the left side. Or the left rear leg will pass over the left the imprint of the left foreleg. We want a lot of overstride and we'll even see more of that when we get into the demonstration of the padded horses. This horse is really in time, really in rhythm as we call it, shaking his head, okay, nodding his head, some of you may say and extending his forelegs and striding behind. This is a great example of a country pleasure horse by a great trainer. <laughs> she says she's not as old as me. Nobody believes that. <laughs> Lori, thank you very much for your time and all of your hard work bringing those equities to us. All right, Mr. Joe Lester and Bailey Mom. This is one of our dynamic duos in the walking horse industry. They've really paired up well. Joe Lester is one of the great horse trainers that we have within our industry. A young man that has risen to the top with a lot of hard work and dedication. About a little over a year, maybe, a year and a half. Bailey Mom came to him and started working with him and they are a match made in heaven. They are really great workers, great trainers, and they're on two great horses as you see today. Joe Lester's been training horses since 2013 and in a short time as trainer he's accumulated already over 25 world championships and nine world grand championships. Over the years he's compiled many wins including the 2017 Walking Horse Report and Scoop Reader's Choice Pleasure Horse Trainer of the Year. 
Throughout his career, he's already won over 400 blue ribbons in many different divisions. He's on we call the sideline. Sideline is a bay six-year-old country pleasure stallion that's sired by Jose. Sideline is owned by the Harold Roberts family and trained by, of course, Joe Lester. And he's had a lot of success and a lot of wins both at our international championship and at our horse shows. And guess who used to own him? I used to own this horse as a two-year-old. Nobody wanted him as a two-year-old. Several people looked at him, said he was too small. He never amount to much and everything by. And I started him for his owners, Brian, Dr. Brian Wright. And now Mr. Joe Lester. He is amazing. Okay, now we have this baby mom. Baby mom's been riding horses all of her life. I think she's 16, 17. Yeah, maybe a few years older than that, but not far off. She started training in Oregon before making the trip to Tennessee. She continues to follow her dream of training these wonderful horses with Mr. Joe Lester. Over the years, she has achieved a lot of success, winning numerous Blue Ribbons. And this year was named the 2017 Walking Horse Trainer Assistant Pleasure Horse Trainer of the Year. She has been and proven to be a major as You know, you hear the saying all through your life that behind every successful man is a great woman. This team right here exemplifies that phrase. Behind every great man, or behind every good man, there is a great woman. We have that here right before you with these two wonderful trainers and two wonderful horses. Joe and Bailey, we thank y'all very much for participating today, all the hard work you do for our industry. Thank you very much. We have Jessica Lee back coming in on labeled a parolee. Now this horse is referred to as being three-gated. Okay, three-gated means he not only flat walks, which he's doing before you, he also running walks, which is just an increase in speed of the flat walk. A flat walk is about three to four miles per hour. A running walk is six to seven miles, or six to eight miles per hour. Okay, so you do the flat walk, the running walk, those are two gates. The third gate would be the canter. This horse, Jessica, is one of our fantastic trainers, along with her friend David Mast, and her partner in crime, so to speak. Jessica is really good about teaching horses and teaching horses to can, along with performing the gates of walk and running walk. She's showing you the canter from this horse as he lifts, hips, and strides through behind. This is a collected lope. In Western, we refer to this as a lope. In English, we refer to this as a canter. Okay, now if you notice, She's going this way of the ring, and she's on the left lead. Now we'll reverse, and when she canters this way, she'll be on the right lead. See, her right leg leads forward. There we go. The right leg, the inside leg, goes forward. She's on the right lead. When she was going the first way, she was on lead. Very important to understand that if you're a judge and, of course, a trainer being able to teach that. Okay, Jessica, show us a running walk. One lap is a running walk. And then I see Miss Leanne Tibbs coming in now. Now we speed up. Jessica really drives her horse forward gives even a pronounced animated gait up front with more knee lift, more reach from the front legs. 
a faster, quicker, deeper motion with that head shake and the stride behind. Give us that overstride. You can really watch this horse with a nice stride up under itself with his back legs. Very nice. Beautiful presentation. Jessica Lee backs probably one of the best jobs I've ever seen at presenting her and her horses in the show ring. Ms. Lee, thank you very much for your help today. And we're gonna follow that up with Leanne Tibbs on the horse that started this process a while ago. Without a warning, we saw him under, as a model horse and saw him park out and saw how pretty he was. Now we see Miss Leanne Tibbs watching perform under saddle and show us a lot of the characteristics or all the characteristics that we look for in the Tennessee walking horse. We've got to have that head shape. We want the mane to be flopping. We want his foretop, the hair between his ears, to be flopping. Sometimes I refer to that as flop factor. We want the knee lift and the extension from the shoulders. We want that horse to look like he shifted his weight to his hindquarters and driving with those back legs up under itself. Beautiful headset. We want the horse to flex at the pole, to drop off and have a vertical headset with his nose. We don't want his nose to be sticking out in front of him. We want that flexion at the pole to be able to drop off the bit. One more time around Miss Leanne and then we're gonna move on to our padded horses. Very nice, very nice. See the stride behind, the nice action that Miss Leanne. Leanne does a great job, her and her husband out in Petersburg and just does a great job with not only spotted horses but solid horses as well. Just she always going to present her horses ready for a horse show. And always, you're going to find her when she's in show ring competition, you're going to find her at the top of the class. Oh yes, teaching the cannon. Very nice, look at you. She ain't scared. Come in this arena in front of y'all and try that for the first time, that's great. Great job, Leanne. Thank you, baby. This is the Tennessee Walking Horse Dangerous Title, a seven-year-old sorrow gilding. He is written and owned by Liberty School student Amy Harris of Shelbyville, Tennessee. This beautiful walking horse has been loved, trained, and shown his entire life by the Joe Fleming Stables and his dad and granddad. Dangerous title is a reserve world champion receiving this honor at the Juvenile Show Pleasure Division at the Tennessee Walking Horse Celebration. He's had a wonderful show career winning numerous first place awards at shows all across Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, and even Florida. This year, Addie will be showing dangerous title in, in the youth 11 and under on Walking Mares and Gildings. This will be Addie's last year to show in the 11 and under division. In her four years of showing walking horses, she has won one World Grand Championship, two Reserve World Grand Championships, and six World Championships, and her Reserve World Championship on her horse, Dangerous Title. If you would, Addie, first horse. Reverse, fantastic. Let him catch his breath. Turn around, let him see the crowd. And here we go. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Head, headset. The lift from the forelegs with the bend of the knee and the extension hand with the reach in front of itself with his front legs. We want him to shift his weight just like we did with the flat child horses and stride up under itself. Beautiful. 
Beautiful, Adam. Beautiful. She, see how she tits in the saddle? Just beautiful saddle seat equitation. Here we go. We got this. Yeah, this is great. This is Maxine Beasley on Inception. Maxine Beasley, Beasley is exhibiting her Tennessee walking horse named Inception. Inception is trained by Joe Bulls here in Bedford County. Maxine in 2015 made her debut ride on Exception at the Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Maxine and Inception showed a total of 16 times with three of those performances being at the celebration and winning a reserve World Grand Championship in 2017. In 2017, they also won their first World, Ch World Championships in the novice 11 and under. <coughs> Maxine is 10 years old and lives in Athens, Alabama. Her twin sister is and will also be riding here in just a moment, I believe. They began, as we showed earlier, in the lead line pony class at the 2013 celebration. And at 2014, won a reserve World Grand Championship. Maxine is looking forward to another exciting and successful show year with her horse inception. If you see in the crowd, if you come to a horse show, Maxine and Inception would really appreciate a lot of cheering and hollering clapping. Maxine, will you reverse your horse for us, please? Maxine and Inception really bring him on down through here, Maxine. What an unbelievable job. Fantastic rider and great horse. Look at that horse set up there and look through that bridle. And likes his job. Beautiful young lady. Great job, Maxine. Thank you very much. Now we see her twin, BB Beasley, on her horse and walking. BB is riding her new horse this year. His name is Lion Walking, this gray horse coming in. He happens to be a five-time world champion. He is trained also by Joe Fleming Stables, where he has been in training ever since two years of age. He's going to be this year by BB in the Youth Pony and Lebanon Under Juvenile Divisions. This will be BB's first year to show line walking, and the, this is the first time she has exhibited her new horse. BB is also 10 years of age and lives in Athens, Alabama. As we just saw her twin sister, Maxine, right before her. BB hopes to be a horse trainer one day. And she started by winning 2016, her first time to show at the celebration, riding by herself. 2014, she won the lead line pony class. And of course, Miss Gibby looks forward to a very exciting new year with her new horse, who is a five-time world champion in his own right. Okay, let him catch his breath right there, hon. And we'll turn around and make your victory pass go in the opposite direction. This horse has already bred several mares. He's got several offspring, and I actually have had one of them and turned out to be a really nice show mare, and the owner's gonna keep her for a broodmare. She's actually got a colt by her side right now, 
that's by this horse. So this horse is basically a great man. Great job. You see this horse with this really deep back end, the really accentuated overstride that we're looking for. He shifts his weight. You can see the muscles working in his hind quarters. Great head shape, great front end, just a great horse. Going to be hard to beat in his division this year, folks. Great job, huh? Great job presenting the horse. Great rider and horse. Pink Panther coming forth. The Pink Panther, ladies and gentlemen, is a six-year-old gilding that is shown today by Daniel Smith. He is shown in the Lebanon underclass and is also shown by his trainer, Mr. Chad Williams. He's shown by Chad in the Riders' Cup divisions and even by Daniel's grandfather, Larry West, in amateur divisions. He is sired by out on parole and was purchased from Miss Karen Bean when he was four years of age. Daniel Smith is a fifth grader, age 10, son of Courtney West, and son of Larry and Elsie Abernathy West. He began his riding career with lessons and academy shows with Alice Klein. He very quickly realized his love and ability to ride flat shot horses and he wanted to move up to performance horses and soon Jeff Willis was looking for a mount to Daniel to show. His grandparents purchased another image of cash, also steady Freddie for Daniel, and be, he began practicing and getting ready for the horse show. Winky Groover is the one that saw the Pink Panther show in Cookville, Tennessee, referred to Daniel's grandmother with the Pinky was a member of their horse family the next week after meeting Daniel, Daniel and family. He remains in training with Winky until Winky retired last year and Pinky was moved to the Chad Williams stables at that time where he is in training presently. Daniel and Pinky continue to work together to improve I look forward to a fantastic show year this year. Daniel, make you one final lap victory pass. Show these folks what you're capable of doing. What a fantastic young man. Great, very talented horse. Big way of going. You know, Daniel, we really thank you for coming out today and showing your horse off to us. Doing a great job for it. Fantastic. Beautiful. Okay, we have Golden Sovereign, I believe. Folks, this is one of the legends in our horse industry, the horse titled the Golden Sovereign. He's ridden today by his trainer, Mr. Chad Williams. This horse is over 20 years old and still going strong. This is a two-time world grand champion. And just as we saw the flat shot horse earlier being three gated, this horse is a three gated padded horse. This horse has been shown in, throughout our industry for many, many years in various divisions and always a hard horse to be dealt with. That's the canter, boys. That's how the canter is supposed to be done. Slow and easy and rhythmic. That's a well-trained 
course. By an exceptional trainer, Mr. Chad Williams, one who always does a great job with his horse. In whatever division he competes in, you're going to find Mr. Williams at the top of the class. Very competitive in whatever he shows and whatever horse he puts in the ring. Always looking the part, acting the part, and showing to try to win the class. Beautiful canter, Mr. Williams. Thank you, Chad. Can you turn around and show us a victory pass for us? What a beautiful canter. Is that not awesome? Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. Look at that horse set up in the bridle. That horse loves to show. He's a show horse. He looks the part, he acts the part, he's bred to be the part. He is the part. He is a show horse and has been this way for many, many years. Mr. Chad Williams, thank you for all your expertise today. Thank you for bringing your horses out and demonstrating what they're supposed to look like. Thank you, Mr. Williams. This is Jose's Rissy Walk, written by Mr. Jeff Green. Very talented young trainer that we have. I knew Jeff Green's father and know his brothers. All great guys in the horse business. Really see a wonderful horse here showing you, demonstrating the head shape. Look at that ribbon. A lot of times, or just about all the time, when we show in English, we'll braid ribbons in their mane to try to match the brow band and, and, mo and match what the riders are exhibiting in. Showing you a great head shape, the front end, and that striding back end. Great behind, great that what we call that overstride in divisions. That overstride and the animation up front are more exaggerated. This horse is doing the same gait that our pleasure horses were doing, our flat shot horses, but much more enhanced. And being able to drive from behind and show you that overstride and that rhythmic head shape. Jeff Green is really talented about when he puts a horse in the ring, they're going to be shaking and walking. They're going to give you the really nice head shape. They're going to have that flopping mane that we like to see with that rhythmic motion. This horse has really got a really nice neck coming vertical out of his shoulders from a conformational standpoint and is designed and created with those hips and hind legs to be able to shift the majority of his weight to his hind quarters and really stride a long ways up under himself. Come on down through there, Mr. Green, to show us your victory pass. What a great job showing your horse as you always do for us. What a very talented trainer and very talented horse. Thank you, Mr. Jeff Green. Nick works with a trainer that sang the national anthem, or at least helped y'all sing the national anthem and led us in our prayer. Mr. Herbert Dickerson, the trainer and hardworking guy within his own right. And now we combine the effort of Nick and Herbert together. They'll have a very successful show ring competition coming up in this year's competition. Nick, if you don't mind, reverse. Nick has his English riding suit on and the horse presented in English attire. Letting him catch his breath here for us and he's going to make his final victory lap. Really nice. See this horse looking through the bridle, ears pointed forward, just looking for more ground to cover. Good. 
great presentation. Thank you for you and Herbert for all you do for our industry, bringing your horse out today. A great demonstration. Thank you, Nick.